Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. How are you guys? Pretty well, personally. Fine. Good. Great. How was your weekend? It wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, tomorrow you will have another day off. Did you work today? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Not in my case, teacher. And you neither. Yeah. Yeah, I had to work today and tomorrow I had to work as well. But there will be, I'm sure there will be OT. Oh, mm. nice. Double payment <sighs> and uh, overtime. It will be nice. Yeah, that's a lot of money, right? I don't know if they will say so, but today was crazy. I mean, it was a lot of work. I ended up really frustrated at noon, but it is what it is. Yes. Same old, same old. That's what a, a gringo will say. Same old, same old. Lo mismo de todos los días. Same old, same old. And it's not something bad. It's a good saying. Okay, how many are we? We are eight already. Okay, create a conversation, please. Come on. I'm just going to wait a little bit for your classmates. Talk about your weekend. What was interesting on your weekend? Uh -huh. Hey, Jose Antonio, how are you? Doing better? His internet is frozen. Elvin, good evening. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Bye, mom. Bye, Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, very fine. I am very happy because tomorrow uh, is day off. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we don't have class tomorrow. There's no class tomorrow because it's a yeah. holiday. It's a national holiday. It's okay. <laughs> Teacher, wow. do you know some information about the, the intermediate form? It's going to start in always this, this month or? Honestly, I don't know. And more honestly, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I mean, the attendance of this group has been reduced right because of your job i mean and we understand your job is it's very important you're closing the year elvin elvin was in um an inventory right elvin was an inventory many people is in inventories right now but who knows who knows i mean if you send the paperwork if Instafor <laughs> approves it and most likely we can continue <laughs> Stop playing with the babies. Stop playing with the babies. <laughs> they are not toys. My baby uh, is happy because uh, eh, eh, or they no, no, my amor. <laughs> no, my amor. No. The whole day? Eh, in this moment, I write at, at home. Uh, oh. She doesn't uh, doesn't uh, see me. Look at me. They hasn't. They haven't seen you. They haven't seen you yeah. the whole day. Wow. Yeah. yeah, they get really happy, right? When you get home, I remember. I remember that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> this sucks. I, I was talking to my wife about that today. How um 
our kid, our oldest kid, there was a moment and I, I never forget because the whole pregnancy, the whole pregnancy, he never reacted. He never reacted with me. He was always very quiet. But one day when he was like eight months in, on, the, on the uterus, when she was pregnant, um, I came home from the university at about 9 p.m. And she was in the door in the entrance. And when she saw me, uh, my baby jumped. <laughs> she, she was like, oh, my God, yes, relax. It's your dad, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was so amazing. I, I'll never forget that because it was the first time that he got he got happy because I was there, you know. He was he was jumping on on the belly. It was amazing. Yeah. My my song wants to 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 walk to run. He wants uh, to walk. How old is he? Uh nine nine months. He's nine months. Yeah. yeah. Mm, you shouldn't let him yet. I think yeah, but 11 yeah, months, one this, year. This, yeah, but this baby is uh, uh, Pinketo. Are very hyper. They're very hyper, yeah. He's very hyper, like the, like his dad. Yeah, that's correct. You can <laughs> see? You can see? <laughs> oh my God, he wants to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> Man, be careful. Yeah. Just be careful. They tend, they tend to hit. Oh, and if he, and if he tries, Elvin, just let him be. Let him be. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention to him. Okay. <laughs> I know it's difficult. It's difficult, but just let him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because if you go like, oh my God, he's not going to do it anymore. <laughs> he's yeah. going to go like, ah, no, I'm not going to walk. <laughs> okay. Good guys. We are more people now. We're 16. Let me do the attendance so we can start up. The class at the Sena Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. I think Irwin hasn't come yet. Okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Not yet. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Ya se le ve mejor, Jose. Sí. That's good. Good. Estamos bien. Super bien, gracias a Dios. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Good. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Good. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Not here yet. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Hey, welcome. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, teacher. Excellent. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Welcome. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Okay, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, okay, and Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Hey, good. Okay, people, let's see. Let me just match this. We are 14, 15, 16 in the class. Let's see. Yep, we're 16. So let's start the class. Let's warm up the class. Who has an interesting open question? Tell me about your greatest remorse. No, what was it? 
what do you regret the most? That was the last question <laughs> last Friday, right? Okay, an open question. Josue Alberto, have you prepared an open question for the class? Not today. Not today, okay. Let me do something instead. Uh, <clears throat> I had thought about starting up the class with conversation starters. Conversation starters, let's see. Just a minute. Nope. Okay. Sorry. Give me just a minute. Okay, there's a lot of conversation over questions that you can make. It all depends on the topic, right? I think I sent you this link before. Let me just show it to you. This is an open source website that you can always visit if you don't know what to talk about, even to yourself. Look at this, icebreakers. Okay, where did you grow up? Do you have any pets? Do you have any siblings? Do you know what your name means? What type of phone do you have? What did you do this past weekend and so on? Childhood questions. Look at this, childhood questions. What is your favorite children's book? School or work topics? Where did you go to school? What was or is your favorite subject? what was or is your least favorite subject and so on. So relationship questions, uh oh, sports conversation starters, vacation questions, food and drinks topics, and so on. The yellow part is the topic. So feel free. You can have a conversation right now for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna split you in groups. I'll send you this link right now. Just choose any question. Try to start a conversation with your classmates. Don't stop. Don't stop speaking, okay? Should, okay. Should, should we do it? I don't see you very convinced. Come on, guys. Tomorrow you have no class. Come on. Woo. 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 Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on you. That's Shame. not okay. Okay, let's go in small groups, have a conversation. The link is on your WhatsApp. Okay, guys, let's go. Andres, I'm assigning you to a group right now. Thanks, teacher. Good evening. You're welcome. Good evening. We have a question here. What is your favorite holiday? Hey, this is the same question. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that you like parties. <laughs> I like you like rest, maybe. For me, to rest. To rest. <laughs> Tell me when. What what is your favorite holiday? Maybe Christmas. Me too. 
Yes, I love Why? Christmas. Because in my family is the symbol to the, uh, how do you say union? Is the, Join. Uh, it's the symbol of gathering. Sorry, teacher, what is the? It's the symbol of gathering. 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 Gathering, okay. To gather. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. To get together. Mm -hmm. Is a symbol of union. Yes. Union. In in love too. And my son uh, love to Christmas. A uh, uh, all day. Uh, mm -hmm. Say me, mom. When days. Uh, no, no, no. Say me how 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 quanto teacher? My son tells me tells uh -huh. me how much or how many? Uh -huh. how, how much? My son tell me how much days. How many days? How many days? Are we missing for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Yes. In, in my case, in my case, don't don't have a preference. Um, I like um, Holy Week and I was um, Merry Christmas. Is 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 very happy. <laughs> With my my my, but uh, sometimes uh, we receive visit visiting from my aunts or my grand my only grandma that I I have only grand uh, a grandmother with me my my others. My, my two grandfathers and uh, another grandmother uh, that are are dead. <laughs> but when yeah, we we share in family uh, every Christmas and at the end of year. And do you have your mother to cook? Yes, the uh, mom. Uh, my mother used to to cook every every holidays or Christmas, uh, uh, Semana Santa, no me cómo se llama. Holy Week. <laughs> Holy Week. Uh, yes. But but only your mother cooking and uh, I don't know. I think you are around what fifteen. Uh, yes. Uh, it's uh, a lot of food. Yes, maybe four or five ch uh, chickens or turkeys. What? Really? Turkeys? Yes. Why? She, yes, yes. Uh, she likes cooking and the, he, she is the better to do that. <laughs> uh, my father, my father helps. She's the best. Yes, the best. My, my father helps her and we we try to with my brothers and we try to buy all the need all the necessary to, to cook. <laughs> you are the supplier. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, I I I I told my wife that he is uh, he have he has to learn in, to learn how my mother cooks. <laughs> Because I, I I am I am always want to to eat the the the, the chicken or turkeys like my mother <laughs> cooks. Yeah, she's under pressure. <laughs> <laughs>
She, but she cooks. Here, no, my, my, wife, my, my wife cooks me uh, every day for, well, for, uh, for you. My wife for me? Yes. cooks for me every day. Yes. Yes. My, she cooks my breakfast and my lunch every day. You can no. try cook me <laughs> this year. I can I can the, the basic the basic I I, I have to learn I had to learn a lot but start start with the salad I I prefer meat <laughs> <laughs> you can you can watch the water. A video in YouTube for now yes, yes, yes but I don't have time so she <laughs> she had me with that and after the class <laughs> ah, after the class i have to to try to to drop the, the garbage uh, sometimes i have to write the doc because i i have to with, with my wife i have to to write the doc to twice a, a day every day wait 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 you have to ride your dog no uh, what the dog? Sorry, you have to walk the dog. What I the was dog? like, right. carry the you dog to walk. <laughs> Is that a horse? Like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a, it's a chihuahua. No, it's a chihuahua. No, no, no. <laughs> Come mestizo. on, Fer. Come. How do you say maltrato animal in English? <laughs> Uh, animal mistreatment. <laughs> animal ah, mistreatment. Dog, dog. Ah. <laughs> okay, keep going, guys. Great job. A vision for every family to meet it and also eat a lot of food, spend the whole night yeah. together. It's nice. So, Christmas is my favorite holiday. As you guys. Ah, okay. uh, yeah. Another thing I don't like about this is to spend much in the gift <laughs> or present to my uh, my family. I have to 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 purchase a present for my, my family, my mother, on uh, even my coworkers. Normally, I I, I used to give you a, a something for or uh, be a, a great team with me. <laughs> but this is the another thing I don't like too much. Are you teacher? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite uh, holiday. Okay. My favorite hobby. Holiday. 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 Oh, holiday. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, definitely Christmas. I mean, it's just the whole December, you know. The whole month of December is like uh, family time. But especially New Year's. New Year's is like more emotive for my family. We usually go to the beach. We rent a ranch, you know, mm -hmm. and we go there and we wait for New Year's um, at the beach shore. It's very, very exciting. Really, I, I'm thinking about that. To rent a you an Airbnb find, and go with you won't find yeah. one available at this point. This yeah, year, maybe I, I will. No, this year we are not going because we couldn't make really? the reservation on time. That was the problem. Oh, and if you right. find one, if you find one, Luis, it's going to be very expensive. These are very expensive. That's the yeah, problem. <laughs> Guys, um, keep going. Keep going, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Andra, are you there? Andra. you. <laughs> Maybe he's, he's taking dinner. Okay. What, uh, what do you what, what do you do you like? Do you relax? Or relax? Yeah. Um, what do you do? Uh, what mm -hmm. do 
What do you do like? Do you do to relax? Mm -hmm. I used to listen to music and here and stay at um, Amaca. No sé cómo se dice Amaca en inglés <laughs> or something like that. But I like to, to, to stay there and listen to music or reading uh, some book. Okay. When I stay at home, but no, uh, sometimes I, I like to go to walk to, uh, at the uh, park. I like to be in contact with the nature. Uh, yeah, I think I like to visit uh, Los Planes, the Rendero, for example. Yeah, or, uh, yeah, or maybe uh, I go to the um, Pueblo Vivo, como es que, sí, Pueblo Vivo, que le dicen esa ruta. Yeah, road, uh, de las flores. Uh, like, uh, uh -huh, Ataco, Guayua, um, Suchitoto was the last uh, town I visited. And it was very nice. That's what I do. <laughs> Yeah, in my case, I like I, I like to play sports. The different, for example, I like a uh, room. Uh, I I I think um the frustration. <laughs> I like um I like uh, play basketball. Uh, and and a. Uh, be with my children because I, I, I don't have time, and when I I I prefer time, I, I prefer um, play different uh, song with my children. For relax, I usually uh, watch movies, uh, play video games. Uh, I live in Chalatenango, but if I have enough time, I travel to San Miguel and visit my relative. Really? Yeah. In Chalatenango, what kind of weather there? Um, this cold is like a, a 16 uh, centigrade. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I live in La Palma. But the metal is, is, is down. In my case, it's a favorite day. It's um, Sunday. I am I am rest. I cook my family. Um, Wait, you, you cook for your family? Uh, what you cook, cook for? I, my, I cook my for family. my family. I cook for my family. Cook. I cook for my family and sleep, sleep. <laughs> and sleep a lot. Okay. I sleep a lot. <laughs> Ah, uh, my favorite favorite is um, Wednesday because I I play soccer this day. Okay. What? That day. Ah, okay. I play soccer that day. Yeah, and that's why. And what do you like to do to relax? Maybe, ¿cómo sería estar en una hamaca? Being in a hammock, or no sé cómo. Being in a hammock. Hammock, yeah, being in a hammock. And listen to music. Yes, uh, 
Uh, okay. In my case, it's uh, listen to I, the music. Uh, okay. Listening to music. Keep going, Ada. Okay. Listen to the music and. Cuando leo. And when I read. And when I read. I okay. like, oh, I love read the books. I love and reading. I, I love reading. Books. A lot of books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Let's go. In the time when I was young, lived a man. Okay, what was your favorite question among all of the questions you made to your classmates? Anybody? Anybody? What's the most interesting question you found? Guys. Nice. Our case was, uh, what is your favorite holiday? Everybody's thinking about Christmas, right? What did, what did everybody say? Uh, was different because we, for example, when the, in my case, we, we thought that Christmas is a special epoch of the life or epoch of the season. year. Season. I chose season. Um, but someone else say, Johnny, I think she thought, she think that he is, he think, I'm sorry. <laughs> he think. He, yeah, I'm sorry. He think, he think that the Holy Week is uh, the best, best season. Holy, Holy Week, the Holy Week. Holy week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, some of us like Holy Week too, right? I love I love Holy Week because of the all the sort of ceremonies that we carry at church. It's a very special occasion for us. The way we celebrate it is very different. Okay. Let's have fun for a minute, okay? Before we move on with your topics for today. So let's see. I know a teacher. Oh, 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 dog. Okay. 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 Let's see, dog. If we get the same question twice, I'm going to remove it. Okay. First question for it. Ada, what did you want to grow up to be when you were younger? What did you want to grow up to be when you were younger? Es como, ¿para qué querías crecer? ¿En qué te querías convertir cuando crecieses? I see, teacher. <laughs> I have no daughter, I see. Oh, you have no? No. Um, did you want, did you really want it to be a, a doctor? Yes. <laughs> I favorite, uh, I favorite career and um, my, and my niñas, I, 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 I am, at, at, I think, you, what did you want to be when you were a, a teenager or a child? No, a teenager. When you wanted, a, uh, when you were a teenager, what did you want to be? A lawyer, a doctor? Junior make or mechanic. Really? Yes, sure. 
the car is mechanic? Yes. I repair the the I, I in my case it's a compare the doctor and mechanic for oh. the for different different <laughs> different in the case of the mechanic, the part the the object, the car, uh -huh. the cars, the cars, and cars, the doctor prepare the person. Yes, I always thought the same. You diagnose the car as a mechanic, and you diagnose the patient as a doctor, yes. right? The carburetor, yes. the heart, the computer yes. on the car, the brain, and so on. Wow. Yes. Yeah, that's a great comparison. Okay. Okay. Let's see who's next. Thank you, Ada. I think I have everyone in this class in this wheel of fortune. Let's see who else do we have. We have Yuri Vladimir. Okay, Yuri, ready for your question, Yuri? See, oh, so simple. Okay, Yuri, what did you do this past weekend? Let me see. Mm, I went with my with my family, uh, my daughter's class. They are in a ball, ballet class, and um, I went to Suchitoto. And, and I, I, my daughter wants, she, she wants, she wants to arrive a boat and we, we take it. And it was a good experience because we found a island that was, and that island was living a person maybe for 20, 20 years alone in that place. I didn't know that this, lake is artificial lake but it's is a good experience and i like it and maybe the other 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 day i'm going to visit it again and we ate um at the restaurant near for that at the downtown or the the, the, the city the, the that city and it's a good place if you want to 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 rest or or to be con contact with the the nature something something natural because they have a a little park in front of the lake and you can be there uh, with your family. It's a good experience. Awesome! Thank you. Okay. Hmm. We're going to abort these areas of improvement with the whole class today. My daughter wants, my daughter wanted to, repeat, my daughter wanted to visit Suchitoto Lake. My daughter wanted it. Wanted to. That's wanted. wanted to. Okay. You join the, because of the V and the T between two vowels, they sound like an R. Right, my my daughter wanted to wanted to visit Suchitoto Lake. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know this place is an artificial lake. I didn't know this place was an artificial lake. Do you continue the ideas in past, Yuri? Good. Okay, teacher. Pronunciation: rest. Rest. A hundred. To be in contact with natural, I, I don't know if you said natural or nat nature, nature. Okay, to be in, in contact with nature. Nature, repeat your nature. Nature. You got it, human nature. Michael Jackson, human nature. Okay, <laughs> and that's it for me, good job. Good, good job, as usual. Let's see who is next. Thank you, Yuri. We will talk about a little piece of grammar after this. Uh-oh, Mr. Alexander. 
William Alexander. Not me, teacher. William. Present. William. Excellent. William, pista uno. Okay. What do you like to do to relax? What do you like to do? Oh, you, you made this question right in your group. What do you like to do to relax? I didn't answer. You didn't answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like to drink some tea and take a shower. Really? Tea? Um, tea? Yeah. What kind of tea? Like lemon tea or hot tea? Hot tea, but... Uh, uh fruit 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 really yeah that's unusual yeah but for me it's delicious mm -hmm. and it works okay and i really like to listen to music relaxing music and take a nap i will i will follow your advice after the class yeah and I send you a photo of this tea. Thank you. Yeah, because, you know, I, I just had to stand up out of the class while you were in groups. I had to stood up and correct my kid. I didn't like that. I had to, <laughs> I had to take this the belt, you know, and flex, flex. <laughs> That's the bad That's part. It's the bad part of being a father, you know, Ugh, man. Now I feel hmm. a little, I feel a little uh, stress right now, but I know it is what it is. Anyways, thank you. Good job, William. So drinking tea, hmm. music. What kind of music do you listen? Um, relaxing or like uh, 80s? 80s, 80s music? 80s. Yeah. George, George Michael? Yeah. That's awesome. And sometimes uh, natural sounds. I don't know. Uh, natural sounds, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I like that too. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Let's see. We're still missing three questions, I think, or four. Let's see who's next. Who's next? Oh, 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 oh. Andres. Okay, Andres. Let's see. What's your question? Okay, Andres, Andres, Andres. What is your first childhood memory, Andres? When I played with my friends, uh -huh, without cell phones, only in the street. That's your first childhood memory. The first yes, thing that you remember. Okay. Yes. When I was with my friends, why is it so relevant? Sir? Why is that memory so relevant for you? Because I think that it's something that you never forget. What was your favorite game as a child? Haremos, muévete, luz verde. Por ejemplo, bueno, jugamos escondelero, no sé. Hide and seek. Hey, let's continue in English. Don't pay attention to the song. Okay. Okay. Hide and seek. Okay. Hide and seek. Okay. Were you good? Yes. You were good hiding or seeking? Maybe only hiding. <laughs> yes, seeking is more difficult. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Andres. Let's see who is next. We're almost done. How many are we missing? We're missing two, four, four questions. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Jose Antonio. Jose Antonio Cubias. Antonio Cubillas. Oh, 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 this is so easy. Do you have any pets, Jose Antonio? 
No, DJ, I don't have any pets. Why? Because my wife doesn't like any pets. Really? Not yeah. even, not even. Uh, I, I only, only uh, chicken, chicken. Come. You only, you only chickens. like hens, chickens, really? Yes. Because you eat chickens. them. <laughs> because they are useful. Son útiles. They are useful. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you can eat them later, right? For Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Did you ever have a pet? Did you ever had a pet when you were a kid? Uh, yes, I, I, I have. Uh, uh, how do you say cabra? Really, you got a goat? You had a oh, goat? Yes. Yes. Really? Yeah, I, That's I, crazy. I drink, I drink milk. I used to drink. Day. Remember, I used to drink milk every day. Wow. You, and you got COVID? That's not normal. If you drank, no. if you drank uh, goat's milk, you're supposed to be very, very strong. Yes. <laughs> okay I used to drink don't forget I used to thank you great job Jose we're just missing three questions people three more questions oh Roberto Luis I don't think he's able to speak or he's not in the class yet haven't seen him let's change the student Josue. Okay, Josue was, was around. Where is Josue? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Josue Alberto, thank you. Let's see which question is yours. Oh, oh, okay. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? What do you, what do you, where do you grow up? I grew up in San Miguel, but now for my job, I live in La Palma, Chalatenango. Mm. You live in La Palma? Yeah. Oh my God, what do you do in La Palma? I work in a custom house. In a border, frontier. Frontier? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. In the border. In the border, huh? Wow, it's gonna be difficult. I love my job. Okay, awesome, awesome. Sometimes. So what do you remember about growing up in San Miguel? I remember I spent time uh, playing with my cousins, play soccer, and I remember- the, At what time, because the heat, yeah, yeah, the afternoon, almost uh, 5, 6 uh, p.m. PM. Um, we play many games. Uh, I remember uh, my grandmother sent uh, a box. Uh, I, I, I don't know. If they boxing gloves, it. boxing gloves. Yeah. She sent a boxing glove and we with my cousin and we uh, enjoyed that, that time because uh, now my cousins are in, in the United States. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> yeah, I, we grew up with uh, six 16 or 12, and here in El Salvador, only we are four or six. Wow, great childhood. That was an amazing childhood. That's great. Hey, so for my job, I'm here now for my job. Uh, because of my job, 
I moved to La Palma because of my job, because of, because of my job. Boxing gloves, boxing gloves. We used to, guys try to use, we used to, I used to, uh, they used to, remember when you talk about your memories, your childhood, that's very good. Great job, Josue. Let's see who is missing. Two more people, two more. Michael, Michelangelo. <laughs> Michelangelo, let's see what you got, Mike. Two questions. Red or blue, Mike? It's gonna be blue. <laughs> hey, this is very easy, but at the same time, very tricky. If you could meet anyone in history, who will it be? Oh, history. You could meet anyone in history. I, I, I want to meet uh I want to meet Pele. I, I would like to meet history. Pelé. Yeah, I, repeat, I would like to meet Pele. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a, Why? Why? Because it, Pele or Maradona, because uh I like uh how play soccer and for example Pelé is the best in the history uh, of football, in, soccer, of football or soccer. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I like soccer, and I in, when I see I watch video on YouTube of Pelé. Wow, it's amazing how play soccer. How he used to. How he, how used, he to. used to play soccer. Everybody is yeah. not using used to. Come on, guys. Uh, he used to play soccer. Okay. Awesome. Wow. Do you think he's better than Maradona? Wait, oh, is Pele better than is Pele better than Messi? Come on. Yeah. Difficult because yeah. <laughs> William is like, come on. What? A different, a different time. Teacher. No, but why? I mean, football is football, right? Soccer is soccer. For example, the balls, balls are different. Oh, <laughs> where? They used to be. They used to be different on Pele's well, time. I think that hmm. Pelé is, is better than Messi because uh, before the the soccer was very difficult. That actually because uh, the shoes and the balls were not as technologically developed as of now. I think that's what you're trying to say. Balls and shoes are have more technology nowadays. What do you think, William? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And the the pitch, or I don't know how to say it. The cesspit. Uh, the grass. The grass. Oh yeah, the grass. Uh, now are better than in the past. Do you think grass is better yeah. now than in the past? Is it natural grass? Or artificial grass. Our technology is better now. No, but I mean, uh, do they use natural grass or artificial grass now on professional soccer matches? I don't know. Europe, it could Korea. be both. But in Europe, yeah. In Europe, they use artificial. Yeah, the most of the time. Oh, interesting. Let's see who's gonna answer the last question. Thank you. Great job, Mike. Try to use used to, guys, when you talk in the past. Sule, my bone. Okay. Sule? Sule, uh -huh. Thank you. Where yeah. do you plan to go? Wait, where do you plan on going for your next vacation? Where do you plan on going for your next vacation? Mm, only to visit my mother, I think. Just visiting your mother and that's it? Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't like to go to anywhere on vacation. Hmm. Why? Um, because there are a lot of people everywhere and I think uh, all 
things, food, places are more expensive on vacations. That's so true. I prefer go out uh, in other time. Mm. Excellent. Okay, look at your chat. I don't like to go to anywhere. Um, we could have said, what is wrong with this sentence, uh, Suleyma? I don't like to go to anywhere. Out. Mm, I don't like to go out to anywhere. In, I don't like to, to go out anywhere. Yeah, you can, uh, right, so the preposition, right? Yeah. I prefer go out in other time. I prefer. I prefer to go out. To uh, go out. To go out in other time, and that sounds I don't know. I prefer to go out in at another time. At another time. That's the point. At another time. Okay. And this is the topic that I want to cover right now. In three minutes, I'm just going to give you a quick grammar lesson and uh, 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 let, me, uh, let me reply uh. okay ya ven que si funcionó vea okay <laughs> lo callé okay. I do that with my dog sometimes <laughs> no mi perro no gruñe no sé por qué mi perro es tan anormal mi perro está loco no no gruñe solo habla entonces se pone a hablar del solo and it's like what, what, what? What's going on with you, right? Okay, uh, vamos a hablar un tema súper rápido de gramática, bien fácilmente. Okay, estamos cometiendo un error bien sencillo, dicho, que tenemos que cubrir, eliminar, modificar, ojo, todos, 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 okay? La mayoría en este módulo me está haciendo esto. So, hay una cosa que se llama verbos de necesidad. ¿Cuáles creen que son? House. Necesidad. Need. Need. Need, exactly. Uh huh. Uh, have. Have. Uh huh. Make. Mm, no, necesidad, necesidad. I need, I want. have, I want. I want. Uh huh. Come on, come on. Like. I prefer. like. Prefer. I prefer. I prefer. One more. Love. Love. Ok, so, vamos a quedar con eso. Puede que haya algo otro, ¿no? Por ahí. Bien, hay una regla bien básica. Si después de estos tipos, por ponerles un ejemplo, la regla general es que no puedes tener dos verbos juntos bajo el mismo tiempo gramatical, ¿ok? Bajo el mismo tiempo gramatical. Es decir, si estás hablando en pasado, no puedes poner dos verbos en pasado juntos. Si estás hablando en presente, tampoco dos verbos en presente juntos. O, y eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Se nos olvida agregar algo en medio de los dos verbos para separarlos. So, ¿Qué puedo ocupar para separarlos? Si yo voy a decir, después de estos verbos, un uh, verbo más, voy a decir otro verbo de extracción, entonces voy a ocupar la preposición to. ¿Ok? So, si voy a ocupar un noun, okay? si yo voy a ocupar un noun, entonces no voy a poner nada después de estos verbos. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo diría entonces? Yo necesito correr. I need to run. I need to run. Ok, I need to run. Necesito tu run. Exactly. Ok, yo quisiera decir, te necesito. I need you. I need you. Like the flowers need the rain, you know, I need you. Qué viejo es este maestro cabal. I need you, I have you, I want you, I like you, I prefer you. I love you. Ves que fácil. A mí me gustan las pupusas. A mí me gustan las pupusas. Uh -huh. I, like pupusas. I, like. I like pupusas. No voy a decir I like tu pupusa, Ben. <laughs> Cuidado, por favor. I like pupas. Ok. Very good. 
Ahora, si yo quiero decir, a mí me gusta comer pupusas. I like to eat pupusas. I like to eat pupusas. I like to eat. ¿Ves? Va arriba. Está esa preposición. Uh -huh. A ver, a mí me gusta comer para estar saludable. I like to eat for, I like to eat for being healthy. <laughs> Excellent. Ojo, eh, aquí ya, ya a lo intermedio. For being, ok, o puedo decir infinitivo, to be healthy. Ok. Tengo, siempre puedo tener dos opciones, el gerundio y el infinitivo. Y estoy diciendo siempre lo mismo. I have to eat for being healthy. I have to eat to be healthy. Ok. Ocupo el gerundio para continuar. Porque, ¿qué dice acá? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Estoy agregando otro verbo. Y lo volví a separar. Lo puedo volver a separar con varios tú. O sea, no importa. Pero nunca dos verbos juntos. Me están diciendo, I need run. I have eat. I want eat. I want cook. I have cook. Sería, I have to cook. Questions? Come on, questions? No. no. Ok. Una cosa más. Sí, sí, todo dependerá de tus juicios. Puedes agregar un gerundio después de estos. Need, have, want, like, prefer, love. O después de cualquier verbo. Para evitar la conjugación en el mismo tiempo gramatical. Uh, ¿Cómo diría entonces, me gusta tocar la guitarra? I like to play the guitar. Like uh -huh. play the guitar. ¿Y si lo quiero hacer con gerundio, Jocelyn? I like playing the guitar. Qué ron, qué ron que está Jocelyn. Uy. <risa> <coughs> Sorry okay. Oh my God, Jocelyn. Ok, good. That's the way. <risa> ¿Sí se entendió? <risa> ¿Sí se entendió? ¿Estamos claros? Sí. Sí, chivo. ¿Cómo sí, adquiero sí, yo sí, esta sí, gramática? Sí. La practico. Que no se les olvide una cosa. ¿Y qué tal si yo quiero decir? Um, ella, ella, ella es un volcán. No, espérense. A ella le gustan las palomitas de maíz. She likes popcorn. Ajá, cuidadito. Aquí va una S. Se está hablando en presente simple. O sea, no se te olvide eso, porfa. Es una oración positiva, modificas el verbo de la tercera persona, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Okay. She loves, he loves, he prefers, he likes, enjoys. she wants, it in, it what? Enjoys. She enjoys drinking. Yeah, that could be another one. Could be another necessary verb. Okay, tengo que pagar. A ver, Ada, ¿cómo diría entonces? Tengo que pagar la, el recibo de luz. Tengo que pagar el recibo de luz. I have a pay. Ok, ¿qué faltó ahí? I have pay. Have y pay son dos verbos, Ada. Entonces, ¿cómo lo separo? Acabamos de decir. Ajá, I have to pay. Excellent. I have to pay the, the, elect the electricity bill. Bill. Okay, the phone bill, the water bill, the electricity bill. I have to pay the electricity bill. Ahora bien, Ada, ¿cómo diría entonces? Yo tengo que pagarle la chacha. Oye, microphone. I have to pay the... La chacha. Chacha. Yeah, la muchacha, pues. Un buen salvadoreño, la chacha. La muchacha. Ok. I have to pay the chacha. I have to pay the, the housekeeper. The, the, the housekeeper. 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 Mm -hmm. housekeeper. How else can you say muchacha in English? Housekeeper. Maid? No. Maid. The maid, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the maid. And etc. Ok. Practiquen. Please. Okay, guys, it's 9.06. Let me do the attendance before we jump into the job we have to do today. 
Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Presente. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Presente. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Presente. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Presente. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Presente. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Presente. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. No. Ok, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Ahí está. Ok, José Alberto Salas Benítez. Good. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Garet. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Today. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Excellent. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Y Elena Susana Cuellar Álvarez. Si alguien conoce a Irene, me urge que se conecte, por favor, ¿ok? Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Se puede unir ahora. Igual con Iván, necesitamos que se conecte, Iván. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. René, por favor, no me falte ni una clase más. Please. Yes, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Ok, no está Wendy. Let's continue. Teacher, I'm here. <laughs> oh my God. It's okay, don't worry. Ok, guys. <laughs> So, in today's. Ya ven que está transmitiendo y en inglés está transmitiendo en la radio. I knew it. Jury, didn't you hear? Jury is online right now, transmitted on his radio. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's move on. So, today's topic. Oh my God, what is it? We have to talk about. Some grammar that is in context here. This is page 35, unit four. How to, ex how to use expressions to clarify a point. How to use expressions to clarify a point. And this is something very useful. Look at the examples, complete the exercise below. We will do that. Sometimes I need some help here. William, can you read it, please? Okay. How to use here? Yep. Okay. Um, sometimes we need to introduce clarifications, the explanation or exemplification of our ideas as this. I don't know how as we speak. As we speak. Yeah. As we speak. As we speak. Uh, uh, speak. Mm -mm. Speak. As we As speak. We, as we speak. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Use in order to words. That is to say simple. Simply. Simple put. Simply. Simply, simply put. Um, ex simply. Etc. Etc. Uh, to make your point clear to others. To make your point clear to others. Okay, can somebody explain me in your own words what are we talking about here? If you haven't seen Rambo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or Rocky, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. You don't know this phrase. You don't know this phrase. Let me tell you something. 
sometimes. Okay, he always does that. Sylvester Stallone always goes like, let me tell you something about life that you may not know. Okay, that's an introductory phrase. When you want to clarify something, when you want to make a point, you know what is to make a point? Yeah. 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 And you typically do what I just did. You make a question when you want to make your point, make up your point. So to clarify something, okay, the explanation, or by the way, William, you say exemplification. I don't like this word, exemplification. Ejemplificación, my God. Okay, exemplification of our ideas as we speak. So this is being very natural in Spanish. In English too, it's the same. So, <clears throat> in other words, when you have a natural conversation um, that is in English, you just simply put the right words in its right place. Do you notice what I did? I used the three options here. Let's look at some examples in your context. Let's look at some examples in your context. Uh, Johnny, number one, wake up. One way to help your target market, like and trust your is to publish often through online channel. In other words, write a blog that inform entertain Intense educating. Okay, Johnny, let's practice some. Repeat through. 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 Okay, it's like Z R U. Through. Through. You got it. Often through online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, informs entertains uh -huh, repeat entertains entertain entertains entertain entertains <laughs> entertains there you go and educates and educates and educate educates and edu educates better you got it Wake up, Jocelyn, number two. You can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a podcast. That is. that is to say, record your talks and allow your consumers, your customers, sorry, allow your customer to download it. Download it. Download it. Download it. You got it, to download it. Okay, so in this context, guys, what is the meaning of that is? In other words, it's very translated, let's say, into Spanish, very simple. It means what you're thinking. What is the meaning of in other words? In otras palabras. Otras palabras, very similar to Spanish. Do we use it? Do we use en otras palabras? Yeah. yeah, right. Okay. Um, do we use that is in Spanish? How would you translate that is? Eso es. Eso es. Eso es. Let's look at this. Um, Puedes incrementar tu... Rating, what's the translation of rating? Okay. No, thank you. What, what, what's the meaning of rating? I can remember. Calificación. La? Calificación. Calificación. No, su sí. clasificación. Sí, 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 rating, perdón. Lo estaba comparando con cuando estás en vivo y cuánta audiencia tenés. Mm. Mm. Is that what it is? Número de televidentes y todo. Ajá. Rating. Is it the same thing? Rating and rating? Okay. How many views? 
Yeah. How many viewers? Okay. As an expert, un experto, y alcanzar a broader market. Un mercado más. Amplio. Amplio. Very good. By developing a podcast. Por medio del desarrollo de un podcast. No sé cómo se traduce podcast. Ok. Johnny, Johnny what? Un video. <laughs> no es un video, es un, un video de audio, de hecho. Something like that. It's a, it's, a, it's a live audio conference. A live audio conference or just live audio. Ok. Eso es grabar tus conversaciones y permitir que tus clientes las puedan descargar. Mm. Entonces, ¿cómo más podrías traducir eso es? Porque se oye bien raro, ¿no? Mm. ¿Quiere decir? Eso quiere decir. Yes. It is the same thing. In other words, en otras palabras, quiere decir. Ok. Uh, and there you go. Ok. Hay muchos más, ¿eh? Veamos nosotros los últimos tres ejemplos. Sí. Luis, can you help me? Number three. Today, customers are looking for warranties, simple put, um, exceptional service after they have purchased your product. Very good, Luis. Just pluralizations. Today's customers are looking for warranties. Simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased your product. So how do you understand this sentence? Simply put. Simplemente pong. Simplemente pong. You know what is weird, what is unusual, is that there is a, a long pause. There are two pauses on that. And it is warranties, simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased your product. Okay, that's weird. No sé, se oye raro, tener unas pausas tan remarcadas. Okay, simplemente pong. Okay. Um, Ada, would you, would you like to read number four? Yes, Thank another you. free marketing resource for you current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social network networking site namely, namely a face group Facebook 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 group, Facebook group. <laughs> okay very good good job Ada usted tiene muy buena lectura you can read very well what's going on. Okay, super bien. Another free marketing resource, repeat Ada, resource. Resource. Mm -hmm. For your current internet customers is inviting them. Inviting them. To participate, to participate in a social in, networking site. Como todo mundo dice, Facebook. <laughs> no, todo el mundo dice, Facebook. O Facebook. No, Facebook. Yeah, mi suegra yeah. dice Facebook. Bueno. Oh, Facebook. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Namely. What is namely then? Number. Hmm? Nombralo. Nombralo. Llamado. Llamado. ¿Qué dice Mr. Google? What do you say? Nombrado. Nombralo. It has a different meaning. Let's see, another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting oh, them to participate yeah. in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. But look at this, look at the meaning. What is the meaning, uh, Fer? Let me check. Namely, 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 that's the meaning. A saber, un grupo de Facebook. That doesn't make sense, right? Mm. So this, this means like, por nombrar uno. Yeah? Por nombrar uno. Uh-huh. In a social networking site, namely 
a Facebook group or namely a Facebook chat or... Oh, llámese. Llámese, ajá. Ajá, exacto, como cuando dice, llámese Facebook, llámese WhatsApp, llámese Twitter. Yeah. That's, that's mm. what it means. Estas palabras, estas palabras, no son precisamente traducidas al español. No puede ser traducidas textualmente, ok? Good. And the last one. Let's see, a volunteer. Elvin. Elvin, your microphone. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Yep. The, ultim the ultimate marketing goal is to help your target market think if you this, which means that you must uh, focus on save saving customer needs. Satisfying? Satisfy customers' needs. Good, better, very good. Think of you, think of you. Think of you. you. Think of you. Think, think of you. <laughs> you got it, think of you. Ahora, puedes usar this means or which means, okay? So the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This means that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs, which means that you must focus on satisfying customer needs. What are the meanings of these means and which means? Lo cual significa? Esto significa. Wait, wait. Cual significa? ¿Cuál es lo cual significa? Which means. Which, which means. means. So means. what is this means? Esto significa. Esto quiere decir. Uh -huh. Esto significa. Esto quiere decir. Okay, that you must focus on satisfying, ojo, Elvin, satisfying customers' needs. Satisfying. Okay, satisfying, satisfying customers' needs. Okay, guys, so let's put an expression to clarify a point in the following sentences. Now, now in English, let's look at this really quick. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you, Frank Sinatra. In other words, okay, this is a synonym of paraphrasing. When you want to repeat yourself in a different way. You know what is paraphrasing? Yeah. It's repeating the same idea in a different way. That's it, paraphrase. Okay, in other words, or paraphrasing. Okay. Do you can you think about another another expression to clarify a point? No. Okay. Good. In other words, what I'm trying to say is in the other hand. In the other hand, okay, let's write it down. Uh, in the other hand. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm trying to say is that's not otherwise to be clear, <clears throat> not otherwise. To be clearer. Okay. To be clearer. What about to make myself clear? To let, let me put it this way. To a certain extent. Can you write it down, Alex? Yeah. To make myself clear, let me put it this way. Let, let's try to use that one, okay? One way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. Mm. Okay. To make myself clearer, okay? Let me put it this way. Write a blog 
that informs, entertains, and educates. Okay? To a certain extent, hasta cierto punto. Yeah, that's another one. But look at the context. Can you use hasta cierto punto in this sentence? Okay. Estamos perdidos, no. Yeah. Are we lost in space? No, we clear. Oh my God. Carolina. Yo sé que usted no me miente, Carolina. Además, sí, pero usted no. Tell me the truth. A little bit. A little bit lost, okay. Uh, bien. Esto es muy apegado al español. De hecho, hay diferentes tipos de conectores, llamémosles así. Son palabras que ocupamos o expresiones que ocupamos para aclarar nuestro punto de vista o lo que estamos tratando de explicar. Um, Hubo una misión a la luna, el Apolo 11, si no me equivoco, que creó mucha... Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Mucho fuss. Mucho, ¿Mucha qué? Controversia. Controversia, <ríe> thank you. A lot of controversy. Hizo mucha controversia porque no se sabe, se desconectó por dos minutos de la transmisión y nadie sabe qué pasó en esos dos minutos. Pues hay gente que dice de que la luna está hueca. En otras palabras, hay un agujero atravesando toda la luna. Déjenme ponerlo así. Eh, hay un agujero que convierte ese, eh, esa, la luna en un portal. Y por eso el lado oscuro de la luna no se ve. ¿Vieron? O sea, ese tratar de explicar de otra manera sería el primer ejemplo. In other words, en otras palabras. Déjenme decirlo de esta manera. ¿Ya? Ese es el primero. Ok. Lo mismo aplicaría para el segundo. Ok. Y esto lo acabo de ver en un trailer de una película que acaba de salir. Eso está súper fumado. I love science fiction, guys. I'm sorry. Ahora, lo que no me agrada es simply put. Simplemente pon. Okay. These customers are looking for warranties. Simply put. Exceptional service after they have purchased your product. Eh, esto no estaba aplicado de igual manera como estaba en el ejemplo anterior. Si se acuerdan, les hice ese comentario. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard. No tiene sentido. ¿Ok? Esto es como decir en buen salvadoreño, decíamos. ¿Tú lo pones? Uh -uh. Ponele. Right? Ah, ponele. ¿Se acuerdan? Alguien lo dijo. Ponele. Ajá, ponele que los dueños de la marca no están tratando muy, lo suficiente para crear uh, conciencia de la marca para su producto. O sea, ya, ahí sí pega. Pero acá, no son más como una explicación y maybe it is right. Ok. Today's customers are looking for warranties. Simplemente pon Servicio excepcional después de que ellos han hecho su compra. De que ellos han hecho su compra. Okay. That's what they're looking for. So, your job, number one, is to go to exercise number seven on page 35. And together, as a group, you need to resolve these five exercises. Well, four. The first one is already resolved. So, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. Simply put, social networking sites. Mm. Okay. What other one can you use here? What other one can you use here? Let's see. Here. And here. And here. ¿Qué estamos haciendo aquí? Estamos tratando de evitar una pausa prolongada y que suene raro, porque a veces después de un punto usualmente cambias de idea, ¿no? ¿Sí o no? ¿En el español? ¿Ya? Yeah? The same thing in English. Same thing happens in English. So let's try exercise number seven 
and I want to challenge you again, try to make one sentence of your own. So if you have four in the group, you're going to come up with four sentences. You got it? No, no, no. Yes. Okay, good. Hey, come on, guys, wake up. Les acabo de ver la cara como cuatro que brincaron de la silla cuando ya volvimos a la clase principal. No sean así, hombre, pues que eran que eran esfuerzos que estoy haciendo, hombre. Ya les estoy hablando con mi acento original, ya les voy a empezar a hablar como lo yo en realidad, para que vean. Hey, no, hombre, let's do it, let's do it. Um, don't fall asleep, let's work with this. Ya casi terminamos. And by the way, tonight I'm staying with... Who was with me on Friday? Yeah. Andres, right? Yeah, we had a great conversation on Friday. Okay, today is Monday, November 1st. Andres was with me on Friday. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal. <laughs> 10 minutes? Where's Elvin? Yeah, teacher. Awesome. Okay, guys. So, number one, exercise number seven on page 35. Number two, traten de hacer una oración cada uno ocupando una de las expresiones, ¿ok? O algo otra que tú te sepas para que aprendamos algo más, ¿ok? Ok. Sir, can, can, you, can you allow the, the screen sharing? This time I will, yes. Ok. Let's go. Hi, Erwin. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Okay, page number um, 35, exercise 7. I'm going to share. You will share? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I thought. <sighs> One way to include. 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 One way to Brown recognized this very important element of brown awareness. The consumers know that a particular brand exists. The first one. Okay, the one to remember the verb. How pronounce it was? Awareness. Uh, awareness. Awareness. To general online advising social networks sites. Other, other word. Yeah. For, yes, for me, the number two is other words. Okay, other words. Brand recognition is very important element of brand awareness. In other words, the consumer know that a particular brand exists. Okay. Is able to identify a certain inserts. I don't know. I think number three could be namely. Namely. Associated websites, namely. And then for marketing, it's actually this happened with 
identify to what is known in reality. In people's capabilities, so that was the matter to know. I see that. Or could be that which means what this means. Yeah. That is the that is to say no. What? In the does is to say. That's to say. You can Maybe. use writing an expert in the English product market by developing a postcard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. That is? Okay, it's number three. This brand has become by creating value. Namely, I guess. No, no. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> You have to publish high quality content or simple food. Simple food, yeah. Simply. I think is I think is that is simple food. Yeah. Simple food. Simple food. thing simply put or that is simply put for me you have to publish my quality content simply put okay Okay. Mm, I'm not sure with simple put because then you have by creating valid content to be introduced to new audience. Mm. It's like uh, the number um, number two, the sample number two. The number three. No, at the example number two, you have a similar idea. <laughs> so I'm I'm confused. When or oh, how do how do you, how did I know? use the the every expressions like when to use every expression i will recommend you to to read base, the context read the context but uh, as well the meaning of each expression that's why i was trying to give you the the, the meaning of each expression because it's better in other words that is Okay. Yes. But the, the meaning simple put is like a solo poner or uh -huh. ponele, ponele, as teacher says. For, uh -huh. for the last one or, or number five, I think it's, it's, it's another. The thing is, that is because the context of the, the sentence. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's a similar in the number two. In the, in the number two and the example mm -hmm. number six. How to use expression? Yep. Yeah. You can increase the rating of similar. Yes, is that is. Yes, I think. Or I guess. Say. I may believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's So now create a sentence. Yes. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. You can change the, the, the context of the conversation, but use different expressions. Okay. Okay. Oh, it happen. Uh, between all these I which just which means We have to, to do one statement, sentence, that sentence, <laughs> sentence. Okay. With using these connectors. Mm. Uh, they're not uh, the expressions, they're expressions actually. They're expressions, okay. Expressions. With this expression. Fly me to the moon, let me among the stars, let me see what spring is like on Jupiter or Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, maybe kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. I have just heard the song on Got Talent video. <laughs> Really? And America's Got Talent or British Got Talent? Amer yeah, British Got Talent. Hmm. Yeah, Sinatra songs are like one of the most sung on those shows. But that's an easy one. Yeah. Teacher, the sentence that we are going to create is it must be related to brands. Or we can no. Do no, I, I care the most for you to understand each expression and apply it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. Just change the, the context if you want. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
How you doing? We finished uh, the exercise and now we are doing the sentence. Sentence is awesome. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, some days ago, I text uh, to join WhatsApp because uh, yeah, I had that doubt with exercise on the final exam. I don't know if- Did I reply read. to you? Um, oh, here it is. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't, my kids maybe had the cell phone and I didn't see your yeah, message. Yeah, you ignored me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Okay, <laughs> first size one, second part of the final is so get the suspicious Okay. Hmm. I finished that. Okay. The final, but for me, um, it doesn't match any any answer for that exercise. Okay, marketing helps businesses to get customers to buy products. To get customers buying products sounds better, but grammatically, yeah, to get to buy. Because according to the, the, the book, mm -hmm. it's get, not to get. Right, that's, that's a mistake. It says get customers to buy products. And after get, you use two, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got you, totally agree with you. But you made sense on that. You found sense, that's good. The part is not the, the correct way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some mistakes on the platform, but they're very small. I'll report that one. Okay. We will finish on Thursday. We will finish. We will uh, the course. Yes, on Thursday. So we're 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 going to be missing Wednesday and Thursday next week. Okay, okay, okay let's go back. It's nine fifty. Las cosas que te digo no repitas jamás por compasión. Okay, ready? Let me see your answers to the exercise. So let's see. We're almost done, guys. Du, 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 du. Number one. One way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising through social networking sites, I will have said. Okay. Did you find another synonym of expression on number one? One way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising or on, in other words, social networks, for example. Uh huh. Uh, we, we choose, uh, choose. choose. Uh, this means. This means social networking sites. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's it. No, the two, two. That's number it? two. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry, I got lost. I was talking about number one, but yeah, that will be okay. Let's go with number two then. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. 
You said, Fernando, this is? First mm, mm, This means? This, this means, means the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Yeah. Anybody else? Number two, brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. Yeah. Okay. Mm. The consumer knows that a particular brand exists. And mm. it's true. I think that's the best option. This means. Mm -hmm. This is to say the customer knows. Yeah. Number three, brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. That is? That is. That is by viewing the product's logo. Do we all agree? Yeah. Mm, I don't like this silence. Irene, good night, good evening, how are you? Are you lonesome tonight? Me tonight. I'm thinking on Sinatra tonight. I don't know why. Okay, number three. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. What do you got, Irene? That is. <clears throat> okay, that is by viewing the product's logo. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for that. Next, number four, Caroline. What, 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 number four. These brands have become well-known. These brands have become well-known. This means they have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. Hmm. Which means? Which means as well, yeah, hey, that uh, makes a lot of sense, yes which means this means yeah does anybody have anything else any other option no no what about in other words could be okay remember you can use different options but don't lose the sense i mean this has to make sense you have to publish next uh juan francisco you have to publish or Sandra? Simply put. One. Number five. Number five, yes. You have to publish high quality content. In other words, by creating valuable context to be introduced to new audience. audiences audiences okay guys good thank you Juan Francisco who has something else you have to publish high quality content in other words in other words in other yeah. words by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audiences good job Okay, this was very simple. Okay. Teacher, can you say again the right pronunciation of var variable? Variable. What? Variable? Oh, valuable. By creating. Valuable. 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 Mm -hmm. Faster. Valuable. Valuable. You got it. Valuable content to be introduced to new audiences. No, audiences, no. Au audiences, no. Audiences, audiences. Audience, audiences. Valuable. Okay, chicos, eh, un último anuncio. Eh, esta semana, si no les ha caído aún, les caerá el mensaje de WhatsApp o el correo electrónico pidiéndoles que llenen la encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, de nuevo les recuerdo, les suplico, les imploro que no la vayan a llenar, por favor. Lo vamos a hacer el último día de clase. Carolina, no mire para el cielo, no me diga que ya la hizo, por favor. Eh, por favor, no vayan a llenar esa encuesta, niños. Estamos hablando. Ya. Eso lo vamos a hacer el jueves. ¿Cuándo lo vamos a hacer? Thursday. 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 Mañana. 
no hay clase. Ah, y van a ir ah, a visitar. Ah, sí, como mañana no. no hay clase, mañana no hay clase. Ok, good. <risa> este, si van a ir al cementerio, usen su mascarilla, lleven su cartilla de vacunación porque se las van a pedir. Vea. A ver, ¿quién tenía una pregunta? One more question. Good, just, just one question. Good teacher. Yes, Wendy. Eh, no, nos podrían, bueno, no sé si los demás compañeros ya les llegó, pero tal vez podrían mandar correo para la invitación de la encuesta porque allí adjuntan los datos. Ya les va a caer. Por eso les estoy avisando. Les va a caer en esta semana, justo antes de la, después de que lo realicemos el jueves, ¿ok? Guys, gotta go. I'll see you on Wednesday. Ok, at 8 o'clock. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Yo, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Elvin Arcides y Guisabal Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Good night. Good night. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Good night. Jerry Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Suleima Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. I haven't done the survey. <laughs> Thank you. No yet. <laughs> Good night. Thank you. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Good night, guys. Present. Good night. Mr. Eguizabal or Mr. How do they call you? I'm just curious. Do they call you Mr. Martinez or Mr. Eguizabal? Eguizabal. 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 Where is it from? Where is your last name from? I don't know. Uh, 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 the different families say from uh, last night Argentina, but I don't know. Never. Uh, you... Uh, listen to to uh last night it does similar but no it's uh okay it did so different there's always a difference yeah on the writing or the pronunciation interesting yeah. interesting yeah rodriguez for example i everybody knows that that comes from from spain right yeah it's interesting there's a story of the last names, how they were given, how they were given uh, by kings, you know, kings, I don't know what was the year, but they, they determined that everybody needed a last name. Families needed a last name because it was too common. For example, in Jesus times, there were a lot of Jesus, a lot of Marys, a lot of Jose's, a lot of yeah. David's. So without last names. Yeah. That was so weird. How did they how did they know who you are, who you were? Right? That's really weird. Yeah. I don't know where is the last name. Yeah, that's really weird. And and and, and I have been by Ernie is uh, more popular now. Elvin after, is more popular now? Yeah. After you don't listen. This night, but uh, today is uh, is so popular. It's more common. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Rafael is very common. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio, Antonio. Yeah, uh, there are 
in, in this country, there are um, nay, uh, the people that use for the children is uh, David, uh, David, Jose. <laughs> yeah, but no, okay. nowadays everybody, the kids, and it's just yeah. that, you know, that has to do a lot. If your parents are very young, they go crazy about the name. Then yeah. they, they name you with something that is trendy, like Fast and Furious, right? Yeah. <laughs> Brian, Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, uh, depend, depend, uh, there are, um, there are different eventually or the, 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 the normal is, uh, there are different movies and there are different five, person, five, famous persons, famous persons, uh, the people, uh, give the, the name for the children. Yeah. I like Vicente, for example, I like Vicente Fernandez music, but I don't know. I don't know why I never thought about Vicente as an option for, for, for my kids and my uncle, my favorite uncle, well, the only uncle I had was Vicente, Jose Vicente. That was yeah. his name. I don't know why but I never. Today, for example, uh, my son, he, his name is Mateo. Elvin uh, Mateo? No, uh, Alejandro Mateo. Mateo Alejandro. Mateo Alejandro. Yeah, Mateo. Yeah, Alejandro Mateo sounds more common. Yeah. Mateo, uh, Mateo Alejandro. But Mateo, uh, there are many, many children in this name. With Mateo, yes. My kid's name is Xavier Francisco. And the uh -huh. common the common is Francisco, Xavier. Francisco. Xavier uh -huh. <laughs> Francisco. It's different. <laughs> and the other one is Christopher Alexander. Oh. He has problems with his name because 11 letters plus 12 letters. Oh my, God. Uh, my, my, my daughter, uh, her name is uh, uh, Scarlett Fernanda. Name, name. Yeah. Her name is <laughs> her good. Name Scarlett is, Fernanda. Yeah. Peggy Shawal Escobar. Wow. <laughs> Sounds so really strong. So how are you? How has how has how have you been doing? I am very well. I am um, happy for for my family. Dan Good has given me and for my work uh, because every day um, I'm learning for me for more in the sense of, of the life and try to speak English. I know it's a complicated subject for me, but I keep try and wa uh, and won't gi gi give up. Give up. I won't give up. Yeah. Hey, I like that. Yeah. I keep trying and won't give up. Yeah, that's the whole point. Keep keep talking. Keep talking. Uh, lose your fear. You're losing your fear, and that's good. That's but really I good. but I I think um my language was evolution because i uh, my partner and my partner um partners partners. Partners. partners partners uh practice with me and say me oh my god your language is uh more improving fluent. it's improving yeah. you're becoming improving. more fluent okay yeah. it's more fluent final and sounds final sounds focus on final sounds the last sound of each word Continue, continue. Yeah, and um, uh, as uh, Tommy, uh, you don't think what do you do? Or what I'm talking about? You speak uh, fluence? fluently, it's, fluently. Uh huh. Fluently, yeah, it's it's okay. It's, it's good for you. It's better your your English. Oh, okay, thank you. But I I I uh, I learn every day. Um, I speak English, but. I, I think it's my problem always all the all that time uh, the English is was my problem because I I don't after <laughs> I don't like uh, English but uh, today um, I like because um, if 
the first is necessary for my job. Um, I think um, in this uh, in this world uh, change the for you you uh, you if you can grow in the company uh, it's necessary you have the skill and you have uh, learn on, uh, you have let me see uh, <laughs> I don't remember what is that le, le, what yeah. is uh, conocimiento le, le, knowledge knowledge sorry yeah it's necessary the different knowledge uh, if you grow up the difference of uh, your career or different company. Awesome. Uh, for the, yeah. Give me one minute. Awesome. Very good. Me llega. Ya pasó esa etapa y ya estamos, como le dice su compañero, dejando de pensar en lo que estoy diciendo. Siempre hay que tener un poquito de cuidado. Yeah. Ahora, ya llegué a ese punto. ¿Cómo consigo entonces moverme a lo siguiente, que sería escucharme y corregirme? Me llega que tengo un grupo de, de, de conversación. Eh, no sé si ellos van más adelante o más atrás, o alguno va más adelante, otro va más atrás. Van, van adelantados. De hecho, uno es avanzado. Ah, no, hombre, entonces aproveche. No sé si lo hace, pero dígale, hey, mira, corregime. ¿En qué me equivoco? Si escuchas yeah, que hecho, pronuncio mal, excelente. Hecho, va, ahora, ¿qué tal si los, les pide que, que le ayuden, que hablen de un tema? Un tema, todo, ¿cuánto tiempo hablan usualmente? ¿Solo en el almuerzo? Uh, no, cuando estamos en la oficina mandando reportes, entre 15, de hecho, eh, yo tengo entrenadores que están estudiando inglés, uh -huh. y los que están estudiando inglés, yo les llego a evaluar y supervisar todo su trabajo en inglés. Excelente. Porque Excelente. el vocabulario que utilizamos ahí, ese sí uh -huh. lo conozco, porque uh -huh. ya es técnicamente de ahí, entonces uh -huh. sin embargo lo mezclo con algunas cosas que hemos estado aprendiendo acá uh -huh. me llega, no pues no, no está difícil cambiar el tema o sea, en el sentido de darle un tema a la semana si ¿Sí me entiende ah, eso, puedo, no. eso sí lo puedo hacer con mis compañeros de la OFI ajá, chivo, entonces no hay... hey bichos, hablemos de esto esa semana solo de eso vamos a hablar y el primer día nos vamos a trabar, segundo día traigamos más vocabulario, el tercer día y abrimos un poco más, se volverá algo eh, como más, así como yeah. interesante. De, de hecho hemos puesto una pizarra en la oficina eh, uh -huh. en donde una palabra diaria nueva vamos a ir anotando ahí y todos se la van de aprender, pero palabras no las comunes sino que palabras rebuscadas ok para ampliar un poco el vocabulario también. Acuérdese de poner en contexto las cosas, si no. Sí, ok. Ponemos rajaleña. Súper bien. Hey, muchas gracias, Elvin. Good night. Bueno, muchas gracias. Good take night. care. Thank you. Take care, too.